Hello, good morning. So we are going to get the daily tarot card. Actually, we're not going to get the daily tarot card. I'm going to do uh, more tarot decks. We're going to get a message, but it's going to be for the whole weekend. So it's going to be for the 14th Friday, Saturday the 15th, and Sunday the 16th. And like I said, I got six tarot decks here. So we're going to go ahead and see what comes up. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope everybody's doing well. So let's see what what is happening this weekend? What's the energy? What's going down? We're just going to see what the universe wants to bring for us, okay? Universe, spirit, we're going to say. What, what's, what's this message for the collective? What's our daily, our triple daily, our weekend message? Let's see. What's our message? What's our message? Universe, bring it. What's our message? What do we need to hear? All right. I'm going to get a couple on each deck. All right. So the energy, we have the Six of Wands on the bottom. So something success. Looking for success here. Um, so what we have, a lot of you have had this transformation. We have death, letting go of things, moving towards something new. We have the Ten of Coins. So some of you got might have a new job or just move somewhere. Um, and then we have this Page of Cups. So setting our intentions, what's, what emotionally fulfills us? What makes us happy? So it looks like you are out there trying to figure out, like, should I get another job? Should I let go of this one that I'm comfortable at, but it's not making me happy anymore? Um, I want something that's going to make me feel fulfilled and successful. So that's the first thing coming through. So let's get some more. So a lot of you might be discontent in where you're living or your your um how you're making your money, like your job, and really contemplating this. Like you don't feel like a success because you're stuck in this dead end job or or something that just doesn't make you happy anymore. So it looks like you are kind of taking action towards finding that emotional fulfillment. What's going to make you happy? I think we all want that, right? We all want to have a better life and be happy. Yeah, there. Look, it's coming out again. Definitely something you want to let go of and move towards. You got this death card again. So realizing that if you keep holding on, you're not going to have that happy, find that happiness that makes you fulfilled. So let's see what else is coming up. Yeah, but you see, there's something that you're you're missing. You're not seeing something clearly. Yeah, and I feel like from all the past disappointments, it's a little hard to go out there and start something new. So a lot of you might have tried different things or or took a risk before, and then it ended up being this betrayal. So it's a little hard to put ourselves out there, especially if we got something steady. Even if it doesn't make us happy, it's bringing in the money or or we're living comfortably or whatever. But it's just not fulfilling us to our soul, right? So that's what's coming through with those. So let's see what else is coming up here. Let me move these on up. So there's some kind of energy you're, you're not seeing clearly. You don't know how to go about it. I feel like it's that unknown energy because like everything we do... We don't know the outcome, right? And we judge it by the past. So if things have not worked out or kind of kicked us in the ass from the past when we did try something, that's that's hard, right? So let's see what else is coming up. Okay. All right. Now we have that wand. It's moving forward now. That's good. All right. Yeah, see, it's, it's our belief systems. We have the Ten of Cups again. Look at that, that emotional fulfillment. We really want that. We have this success on the bottom and we have this 10 of cups. Wanting that success and happiness. Oh, who doesn't, right? That's like our dream, right? So we do have this Prince of Wands, which is the Knight of Wands, the Hierophant, which is our belief system, our traditions, and then we have the King of Wands. So see, we're kind of having this battle. We want to go out and uh, pursue those passions and those things that are going to fulfill us and make us happy, inspire us, right? And but like some of those old patterns of belief or our old traditions or how we were raised or brought up or beliefs of ourselves kind of might, might be holding that power to go out and take that action risk back because this is taking action. So, you know, it's, you got to weigh out like your, your, your belief system. Uh, even maybe some of those traditions, it might be time to tweak some things that, that you normally do, you know? If we keep doing the same things, we're getting the same results, it's not going to change, right? And there, we've had that death card come out twice, so there's some kind of transformation here that needs to be done. So let's see what else. we got three more decks here. So I feel like the universe is telling us here, it's time to try something new. Try something different. If you are not happy where you're at in life, 
you know sometimes we got to put ourselves out there yes there might be disappointments and things like that but yeah there's a lot of pages here so this is all about new beginnings and intentions we have the three of pentacles so you might need to collaborate with others this also again could be a work situation but collaborating with others there might be other people you need to bring on board what i feel like this is saying is you know if there's somebody that you want to have that kind of life and they've already done it you know don't listen to the people that are telling you advice that haven't gone anywhere or don't have what you want right so this is like getting that person like you see somebody like i want what they have and they're successful following like their example do what they kind of do like if they get up at 5 a.m and they do certain things you know start integrating their their ways of being into your life instead of the same crowd you're hanging around that's not moving anywhere you know what i'm saying we have two pages here again we've already had a page um before so this is page of pentacles and page of wands so see this is that material world but again with our passions so i feel like they're kind of conflicting here you know maybe you're having people say like why do you want to do that for it come out with us let's go hang out or you know and this is those setting those new intentions if you want to build something in your material world your finances your career your your lifestyle then we have to take that action we had the prince of wands again take the action towards our passions and yes it might be risky we might get hurt but you know that's life right we are going to get hurt it's not we're never going to have this life where we're in this bubble that we're never going to get hurt but you know what those makes us stronger those makes us wiser right and it makes us realize what we do want those hardships make it realize like you know i don't want that again i want something different and it makes us build ourselves up so even though it can be painful it definitely can make you be a different person so let's go ahead and get a couple more cards two more decks here so, yeah, there's something, yeah, we, darn, get the two of swords again. Yeah, see, there's something you're keeping from yourself because she can, these crows, I kind of feel like that's like other people in other situations are pecking at her and she's got this blindfold on. She's not even seeing it. So really pay attention to that crowd or that situation that you're in that's toxic, that's holding you back and making you maybe even criticize yourself or believe like you're not worthy enough. You know, you got to let go, take off that blindfold and kick these two crows to the curb <laughs> not literally don't go out and kick her of crows to the curb i'm like really big on like animals you know but um you know what i'm saying you know don't listen to that you know and i feel like too this is a representative of our 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 like negative dark shadow side and we do need to listen to it but it's i use it as a catalyst not like as like beating us down right <laughs> It's like that birds movie on Alfred Alfred Hitchcock where they're just pecking at you, I'm pecking at you, you know. Make sure you're not letting letting that get into your head and believe in that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, one card. Let's get the others. What else? So there's something here. You got to see it for what it is, and you got to stop criticizing yourself here. You know, know you know you're worthy of it. You know, and you got to put yourself out there. Yeah, you've been through a lot. You know. You've been through a hell, <laughs> but you're still standing, you know? And that's what I'm saying. Those battle scars and those betrayals, they might leave a little, a couple of little scars on us, but it, deep in, depending on how your mindset is, it makes you stronger and wiser, right? And realize like, you know, hey, I don't want that anymore. I'm not going to do that again. And that's what I'm saying. I think this is what it is. It's like that energy is like, I've already went through hell. I'm not putting myself through that again. But I know that I got to go through hell. Like if you're going through hell, keep on going. It's kind of like, I don't know if I want to go down that hell hallway again. <laughs> Only to fail on my face again. Fall on my face. So, you know, but guess what? Those three times that you walk through it and you fall on your face and fail, that fourth time you're going to get through it, right? And you're going to feel so good, you know, you're going to be so, and you had that success on the bottom. So you're going to feel so good and so victorious and just everything you want comes to life, right? So got to do it, you know, what's the other alternative? You stay on the other side of that hallway of hell and don't do it. You know, and yourself in a little protective bubble and be miserable because you, you're not emotionally happy. Yeah, look at that. There's that betrayal again. 
So yeah, we have to let go of these betrayals and those heartbreaks. Where was that Three of Swords? Yeah, we've had Ten of Swords twice. We had Three of Swords somewhere. I don't know where that is. We had Death and Transfer Transformation twice with all these different decks. It keeps coming out. We have got to let go of those betrayals and those heartbreaks and using them as stepping stones to move forward. Nobody said life is going to be easy, right? On the bottom, Two of Wands. Yeah, it's your decision. And you're struggling with it. I get it. But like I said, the alternative is you say where you are and you know you're not happy because you're, in, you know, in that protective bubble or you're secure or on the other side of that fear is your dreams, you know? So it's, it's how you look at it. Definitely. We got one more deck here. So let's see. See this one. Let's use this one as the advice from the universe. Okay. Let's see what the advice is from the universe for this situation. What's the advice? About this situation here. What should we do? Universe. We know we have to face our fears and take risks, right? Let's say, What is the immediate advice? Like the advice right now. Something we can get started on. See that truth? Mm-hmm. Realize. I have that revelation. That, yeah, I'm going to be stuck here. I'm going to live my life and never pursue what I want to do because of fear and because of the fear of uh, failure, because of the fear of being hurt again. And all those people that hurt me are going to be, honestly, the ones that hold me back, even if they might not be in my life anymore. And they're still holding my life back like hostage, right? So let's see what else. Yeah, it's time to move away from those disappointments. All right. Great advice, universe. Let's see what else. We know it. We know it. We're just too... We don't want to go through it. Ah, uh, yeah. See? You got to let the, all those trickery and those lies and deceit. And I feel like this is you to yourself, too. Thinking, like, I'm never going to make it. I'm not good enough. I don't deserve it. I'm going to go through hell to get there. Uh, you know, I, all that. But this is also those all those people that have tricked you and manipulated you through your years, you know? And made you start believing it. But deep down, the one that matters is what you're telling to yourself. So what are you lying to yourself about? What are you deceiving yourself about? What is your mind playing tricks on you about? Your ego, right? So let's get one more. So the universe wants you to look at that. Stop tricking yourself. Take off that blindfold. See if it sees the truth for what it is. And start that new life that you want. That life that you're going to love. That you're passionate about. That inspires you, right? Yes. That's what the universe wants to do. So stop turning your back on the life you want because of other people or things that have happened to you, or hurts, or betrayals, or or um, your fear, the stories you're telling yourself. It's time to go out there and do something different. Even if it's one step at a time, you know? Do it. And prepare yourself. Like, yes, I know I'm going to be disappointed sometimes. I know I'm going to be up against challenges. I know I'm going to have my heart, like, hurt a little bit. But I am determined to go out there and do it. I'm not going to let that hold me prisoner anymore, right? So let's look at all oh, the bottom. Let's look at the bottoms of these uh, one more time for the, the last message here. All right, so we have the Ten of Cups. Here's you looking for that happiness, emotional fulfillment, but you're turning your back on it. You're turning your back on it even if you don't realize it. Because maybe you're working with other people that are telling you certain things or they seem like they're maybe you're comparing yourself to others like, hey, they have that big house. and They look so happy. But, you know, we all know that people that put stuff on social media that how great they are behind closed doors is not so great. You know, this is also working with other people, going out there and finding mentors to go by, aligning more with people that are higher vibration, things like that. Changing jobs, because this is like can be a work situation too with the pentacles. You know, if you're in a low vibrational shit job that you're not getting anywhere, there's nothing, no, no future to it, maybe it's time to get out of that situation. Everybody's complaining. You know? Yeah, let's stop, stop holding on to this overkill of betrayals. Yes, it hurt, but the past is the past. Yeah, learn the lessons. Realize that maybe the universe got you out of that situation because that was a shitty person. You know, could be that too. And head for your success. Okay. The decision is yours. Do you want to stay ho-hum because it's stable? Or do you want to go out there and have that successful life that you always dreamed of and wanted? So that is your message for this weekend. Go out there and do something. Go out there and slay. Use these swords 
Where's the swords? Take these swords out and use them to cut through all that bullshit. You know? Even in your own mind. Whatever you're telling yourself. It's time to go out there and slay. So that is your weekend message. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Thank you.